So for summer 2024, Soundcore has released their new Soundcore Boom 2 and their Soundcore Boom 2 Plus, and both of these speakers get surprisingly loud. They both have a surprising amount of bass, and they are both very compact, and they are both fairly affordable. So if you're trying to choose between the Soundcore Boom 2 and the Soundcore Boom 2 Plus, today we're going to check these two speakers out, and we're going to see which one's right for you. So first, there's pricing. Both of these speakers undercut their direct competitors by a large margin. The Soundcore Boom 2 has a retail price of $130, whereas the Soundcore Boom 2 Plus has a retail price of $250. Overall, both of these speakers are solid pickups for summer 2024, so if you want to pick either of these two speakers up, they'll be linked down below, or you can always press on the YouTube shopping button. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up a big head approved hat, linked down below. We've got trucker hats and snapbacks. By buying a hat, you help the unbiased and unsponsored videos coming, and it also helps us cover more products and produce more versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's already bought a hat, and look out for more designs coming soon. And also, please remember to hit that like button, and let's get subscribed. So first, there's the design of these speakers. Both of these speakers are very compact when compared to their direct competitors. The Boom 2 Plus is way smaller and lighter than the JBL Boombox 3 and Sony Oldfield 7, and the Boom 2 is smaller than both the Xtreme 3 and XG300. Overall, both of these speakers are great options to take on the go with you because they are both very lightweight. The Boom 2 weighs in at 3.6 pounds and the Boom 2 Plus weighs in at 8.3 pounds. However, the Boom 2 Plus also has a shoulder strap, so taking this speaker on the go with you is even easier because you can just throw it over your shoulder. And when it comes to durability, both of these speakers have a mostly plastic body, so they can get scratched very easily. However, both of these speakers are waterproof so if they get dropped in a pool they're going to be perfectly fine and also thanks to their plastic bodies these two speakers float. And then there's the light feature on these speakers. Both of these speakers have a light feature tucked into their passive radiators and personally I like these light features because they are very bright and they're very dynamic and through Soundcore's app you can go in and choose from a few different lighting modes and you can customize these light features as well. Overall I like using these speakers or with other light features but if you do decide to use these light features that is going to take an additional toll on the battery life. Now when it comes to battery life on these speakers, the Boom 2 has an advertised battery life of 24 hours and the Boom 2 Plus has an advertised battery life of 20 hours. However, this advertised battery life of 20 and 24 hours is with both of these speakers playing at 50% volume and with the light feature turned on and with the bass up feature on both of these speakers turned off. And 50% volume on the Boom 2 Plus is noticeably louder than 50% volume on the Boom 2. But real world use with both of these speakers playing at 80% volume and with the light feature turned on and with the bass up feature turned on as well, both of these speakers are going to be good for around 6 to 7 hours of playback time. And just keep in mind, the Boom 2 Plus is going to get louder and it's going to have more bass than the Boom 2. Now when it comes to charging these speakers, both of these speakers charge via a USB-C port, which is super convenient. However, with the Boom 2 Plus, you can also use this USB-C port to charge your own devices, which I feel is super convenient as well, because with the smaller Boom 2, yes, you can use it to charge your own devices, but you have to use a USB-A port. And I don't feel that this is as useful, because most phones these days come with a USB-C to USB-C charging cables. And when it comes to ports, the larger Boom 2 2 also has an audio jack so you can use it with a wired connection, whereas with the Boom 2, you can't use it with a wired connection at all. But finally, when it comes to overall connectivity, both of these speakers can be connected to two devices at the same time, so you and a friend can both be DJ. Latency is not an issue for either of these two speakers, so you can use them to watch videos with on your phone. And when it comes to audio codecs, both of these speakers have support for SBC and AAC. But with all of that out of the way, let's talk about sound. Regarding speaker setup, the Boom 2 has a single from it firing woofer, dual from it firing tweeters, and dual pass radiators that shoot out the sides. Whereas with the Boom 2 Plus, this speaker has dual from it firing woofers, dual from it firing tweeters, and dual pass radiators that shoot out the sides as well. Now, with both of these speakers, you can go in and you can choose from a few different preset EQs, or you can make your own, and they both have their bass up feature, which is going to increase the bass on these speakers. 
speakers. However, that does take an additional toll on the battery life as well. But now we're going to go ahead and jump into the sound test. Both of these speakers are playing at 87% volume, they're both running their signature EQs, and they both have a bass up turned on. <laughs> So first off, both of these speakers lean towards a warmer sound signature, so that's why they can give you a lot of bass and they both have relatively the same instrument separation. Now I think these speakers sound good enough to get the job done, however when it comes to the highs, sometimes the definition there isn't as good as with some more premium options out there. However, when we compare the Boom 2 to the Boom 2 Plus, just as you'd expect, the Boom 2 Plus just gets louder and is just going to have more bass. And since the Boom 2 Plus gets louder, you're going to have an easier time hearing the mid. But regardless, both of these speakers get impressively loud for their size, and they both have an impressive amount of bass for their size as well. Overall, I feel that the Soundcore Boom 2 Plus is good for a 12-person party, and the Soundcore Boom 2 is going to be good for like an 8-person party. But finally, let's talk about pairing these speakers up with other speakers. Now, with both of these speakers, if you have two of the same speakers, then you can wisely pair them up and get them to play in left and right stereo mode. So your music is going to get louder and it's going to sound more open because you're going to have one speaker for your right channel and another speaker for your left channel. But also, since both of these speakers are using Soundcore's PartyCast 2.0, then you can wisely pair them up to one another and get them to play in sync, and you can have up to 100 speakers playing together. And overall, PartyCast 2.0 is easy enough to use. Just make sure that your main speaker is connected to your phone, and all of your other speakers are disconnected from anything else. And then from there, you just press the PartyCast 2.0 button on each speaker, and they'll be good to go.
But with all that being said, both the Soundcore Boom 2 Plus and Soundcore Boom 2 are great options for summer 2024 because first off, they are very affordable and they undercut their direct competitors. But more importantly, both of these speakers get very loud for their size and they both have a lot of bass for their size. Now I feel that the definition in the mids and highs could be better, but these two speakers are great options for someone that likes a warmer sound signature. But obviously, if you go with the Soundcore Boom 2 plus you're going to get more sound out of it because it gets louder and it has more bass and the boom 2 plus has extra goodies like a 3.5 mm audio jack and you can use its usb-c ports to charge your own devices as well which i feel is a lot more useful than the usb-a port on the boom 2. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.